Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over the capstone guide that I just created. It has a bunch of information that you guys can use. It, it literally has everything you need to know before taking your capstone or your practicum. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. <laughs> we're going to be going over the capstone practicum guide that i created i'm literally going to be going over every page that's in here i'm not going to be showing you every page that's in here but i will be going like basically telling you what is in the guide literally everything that you need so if you haven't got your hands on this guide yet you need to you like you need this in your life um, if you are getting ready to take the capstone or the practicum, the practicum is like the basically the wrap it up project of of your um, um, graduate degree. So if you're doing your master's, um, some bachelor's programs, I think they do the practicum as well, if I'm not mistaken. So for me, I did it um, for my master's degree. Um, I did it through Capella University. So the guide is basically mostly focused in whatever I went through and um, the requirements that I, you know, it was requested for my practicum. So it may differ a little bit if, you, if you're in a different school, but for the most part, it's pretty, pretty basic. Like most of the things may be similar, not exactly, but similar. All right, so this is a main page then you will find a welcome page literally just a welcome page um then we have the table of content which will look like that um from pages five to seven you will find an overview and a plan proposal um from eight to ten you'll find roles and responsibilities from 11 page 11 to 16 you will find all the expectations and requirements um, that you will need uh, for this project. And page 17 to 18, you'll find a conclusion. Then you'll find, take note. So you'll find like extra notes on the last couple of pages. So if you are printing this out, remember this is a digital product, but you are able to print it out. So if you wanna print it out and you wanna get those notes before you go uh, start going over your guide then that will be a great idea that will be a good time to do that if not you're able to if you're gonna just use it on your on your um tablet or your phone whatever just make sure you get those notes you can put them in a different place and then you can basically use them as you go through your guide um, one thing you can do let's say if you have your tablet and you have your phone remember you can view your product from any device so let's say if you're viewing your product in your phone or your computer then you can use your tablet you can go in the notes and start taking notes on there if you want to use those um, notes that i provide there okay the next page that you'll find is the purpose of this guide so basically i go over what's the purpose of the guide and um the things that you will learn here and all of that and it just looks like this okay so now starts the good stuff you'll find an overview of the project what's the project what exactly you need to provide what is it basically that's that's the overview and the plan proposal what is the plan what is the plan that you will have to um come up with to um make this project whatever you you decide this will give you all the requirements everything you'll need <laughs> my dog is here everything you'll need to get it done so that, that will be that page then i have a the next page will be um, recommended project idea so i have a list of different ideas that you may be able to use to create your um your project you don't have to use it exactly but you can have an idea of something that okay i can probably do something with this and create this other thing you know like just to use it as a as a way of okay i'm going to do something with mental health or i'm going to do something with um children anything that has to do with pediatrics or whatever the case may be 
Um, and then it also has the assignment uh, sequence that you need to follow. So it, it provides all the assignments that you'll need. The next one will be the plan proposal. That will be the next page. The plan proposal um, and basically everything you'll need to know uh, when you're when you're coming up with your your plan, your project idea, and also provided in here, you'll get a copy that you can print it out as well of the capstone project plan proposal. So you can it basically has all the questions that you'll need uh, to get started. So let's say if you want to get started on your on your project and um, just start thinking of ideas, you can print out this plan proposal um, form and you can start kind of like dotting in there and putting the things that you want to work on then the next page will be roles and responsibilities and it goes over the roles of you as the student um it goes over the roles of um the the preceptor and it also goes over the role of the um instructor so in details the next next page will give you the same thing your role the instructor's role um and then some tips on top of that and basically in, in in detail then for the site and preceptor there's a a separate page completely just for that because there's a lot you need to know about the site and the preceptor um requirements and everything literally in there everything you need right in there in this guide um the next page will be expectations and requirement and it's in that page the an overview of it there's also a life link um, for the practicum preparation tracker there's a tracker this this you can find in the in their website as well um but it's here like if you get this guide you can just literally access it through here right away uh, requirements before approval uh it goes into details of the requirements before the approval. These requirements are you'll find once you start the practicum. There's no way for you to fully get this list before starting the practicum. That's when I was able to like go in there and know exactly what I needed. Yes, you you will get like an overview. Okay, you know, these are kind of the things you're gonna need, but this is based on my experience and based on what they asked for. So everything that you're gonna need from you what you're gonna need and your your preceptor what your preceptor is gonna need everything will be in there so the agreements the documentation uh once you're ready what you need to do everything okay practicum hours um there's a whole page here going over how you need to log your 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 hours um how many hours you need how can you get the hours like what counts as practicum hours um and all of that good stuff then sorry that that one was mostly on how like what are the hours like what is required how many hours and how what what is considered hours that you can um use for the practicum the next one is a whole page on how to log your hours so logging hours what are the 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 requirements what you need to to do to log it how the um, website looks like and all of that stuff the next one is an actual sample of one of my hours how i lagged it how i set it up how i created the the actual format and everything this and this is how you basically you will definitely need to to do it um and it will look similar to this the next one is more to know based on my experience so in here i write down literally all the things that i was like that i learned that i ha I learned the hard way you know um from taking the, the practicum so you don't have to see you don't have to go through the whole struggle i'm giving you all the tips you need to know i'm giving you literally everything that you need to do step by step so the same thing that happened to me doesn't happen to you so all in here as well and then that's it guys once i give you that I have a conclusion, so it's basically um, a congratulations on, uh, on a step closer to your master's, and this is like a little thank you kind of thing, and then that's pretty much it. The next one, I have a form 
if you're well if you're interested in setting up a one-on-one -on -one with me to go over the practicum to go over um nursing to go over if you're not a nurse yet and you're thinking about becoming a nurse or anything nursing related if you're interested in um side hustles because now now i'm working on something um in regards of um doing like little side hustles for nurses if you're interested in that whatever the case may be you want to meet with me one-on-one -on, -one on a virtual uh, meeting i got you so there's the, the one of the last pages in here it's basically that if you're interested in setting up a one-on-one -on -one, then you're welcome to do that like after you you go over the guide if you're still thinking oh you know what i would like to maybe talk to her in person and not in person but virtually and you know live and um to go over certain things or i want to get a better view of whatever the case may be i got you <laughs> and then the last is the little take notes so this is how it looks like it's really cute it has your your notes um, you can also write goals on one side and a little to-do list while you're you're working on it. And you you get a couple of those. So I think it's three of them. Yep. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you're interested in getting this guy, this guy sounds like it's something that you need right now and you're interested in getting it. I will link up the um link to go straight into my stand store, grab your copy and start working on it if you are not getting like if you don't have to take your practicum yet let's say you're in the program but you still have months to get to your practicum you need this now you need this guide now like literally you need it now you need to start working on this as soon as you can like they told me to do that and i was like okay you know i, I still got time don't be like me this is why I'm here. I'm giving you everything you need before. Um, it, I'm giving you what you need to succeed without going through the trouble that I went through. So if you really want to get in, get this, you really get this guide right now. This is what you need and you can get started now. So once you get to that point, you don't have to like be stalling and, and waiting. I literally did my practicum in two different basically um sessions like um what is it like the payment sessions or whatever i think you get like eight weeks or something i had to do it i had to go into my next one and literally all i used was like a week or two it was it was a lot it was crazy but um you guys don't have to do that and if you don't want to do that start working on your practicum get the guide get it started and you sh you will you'll you'll thank me later <laughs> that's pretty much it for today so i will see you guys on my next video bye